Hello everyone, this is an introduction video to Express Generator. Let's start. Express Generator comes as a zip file. Let's extract it to disk C. How to do it? Right click, extract all, and I'll use the pad disk C, Express Generator. So it must look like this, C, colon, backslash, Express Generator. That's all. So we have in disk C, Express Generator installed. But uh, in order to run it, you need uh, Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript engine. And because uh, Express Generator is written in JavaScript, we will run Express Generator through Node.js. So let's go to the browser. Okay, and search for Node.js. Node.js is completely free and safe. Let's go to Node.js. And it, this is its uh, main page. Uh, we can use uh, either of these uh, two versions. I always prefer the, the latest on the newest uh, version. But uh, if you want to be more sh safe, let's say, you can use this long time support version. Anyway, I'll install the current one. I'll show. Uh, the installation is uh, straightforward. But anyway, I want to show you something. Okay, I click next, I accept the terms and devices agreement. Let's install it to the default path, next. And uh, the one I want to show you is that you don't need to click on this checkbox. Uh, this checkbox, if you click it, it will install additional tools for Node.js development, but we don't need this. So just click next, install. The installation will take uh, several seconds. It's okay. So we are ready to use uh, uh, our Express Generator. Let's make the first demonstration. Mm, this is the Express Generator folder. So okay, let's how to, how to find it when you open the Windows Explorer. The Windows Explorer. Go to disk C and Express Generator. From here. Uh, in Windows uh, 11, you can open the terminal with right click and uh, open terminal. We will run uh, uh, Express Generator through the terminal. In Windows 10, here we have a file button. When you click file, file, uh, there is a PowerShell link. So open the PowerShell and you open the same Windows PowerShell. Now we use this Windows PowerShell and later we will install the newer version. So. Let's make the very first demonstration. First, uh, we will fetch or we will download historical data like that. We write node, which is node.js, and uh, uh, we access the fetch command. And we write symbol euro USD and period M15. So this command fetch, it will download uh, EuroUSD and period M15. It run, and the data are ready. So you already have downloaded EuroUSD M15, 200,000 bars from 2015 July up to, up to today. So we have uh, uh, this historical data and now we can run the generator. The generator uses for the very simple case, the same uh, uh, style of uh, commands, but we use bin gen. So fetch is for fetching historical data, and gen or gen is for generating uh, corrections. Let's run it. And that's all. It runs. It loaded the historical data, 100,000 bars. Mm. Our account is 10,000 USD with leverage 1 to 100. The entry lot is 0 0.01. These are all the default uh, parameters. So we have a lot of options and we can customize almost everything. And also we can automate the process of creating collections, which is the, the most fun, the better part of, the best part of uh, Express Generator. So it works. It already works 35 seconds and uh, calculated 6,000 or more uh, strategies. 
Uh, more than 2,000 uh, strategists passed the validation criteria, which are the default one, of course, but we can uh, add, uh, add a more acceptance criteria, and uh, they are collected in a collection, and we have a collection of uh, 100 uh, strategists already. By default, the express generator works for three minutes. It already works for one. So I will stop with Control c in order to continue our tutorial. I, when I press Control c it saved the current uh, the, the current collection in uh, the subfolder collections. When I go to the Express Generator folder, I have Collections folder. And this is the collection that we just generated. So if I open Expert Advisor Studio, I will delete what I had before. And from Collections, Upload, and uh, uh, go to, if, if it opens directly in my case in the Express Generator collection because I have used it before, but if you are not, go to disk C, Express Generator, Collections, and select the collection. Okay, the collection is opened. Um, this is what uh, uh, Express uh, Generator generated. Uh, and it shows the same result here. A profit uh, for uh, 408, 408, but uh, these are the records that comes with the collection. This is not what is calculated. When I click it, uh, eStudio will uh, download data and it will make uh, calculations. So these are uh, what is calculated from eStudio. And if you compare, let's first compare the historical data. We have here uh, 100,000 bars, and here we have 100,000 bars from 2019 to 2023, uh, 29th of July, 29th of July, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. So we have the same data, and we have counts of trades 128, 128. So we see the creations that we generate with uh, Express Generator uh, much. Um, the EA Studio, and this is of course what we need. Okay, this is uh, the the most uh, basic case. Okay, but let's uh, uh, go a little bit deeper and learn something more. I will close this and start from the beginning. Let's open the um, Windows Explorer and go to Disk C, Express Generator. So, uh, as you saw before, we will run the Express Generator from the command prompt or from the terminal. And how to open the terminal? Here in Windows 11, we can right click and go to open terminal. Okay. When Windows 10, we can to go to file and uh, run PowerShell or from, from uh, the Windows start menu, we can uh, search terminal. It is, ah, it's in my screen, okay. We can, we can search for terminal. And this is the terminal application. Uh, it is useful to pin this in your taskbar. Right click on the icon in the taskbar, Windows taskbar and click pin. It will be easy to open. But when you open the terminal, and usually this is what I'm doing. I either search it in the Windows start menu or I use the pinned icon uh, from the taskbar. Okay, but uh, when you open from the uh, pin bar or, uh, with the Windows Start menu, we are in your home folder. And now let's uh, learn only three basic commands for the Windows PowerShell or the Windows Terminal, because we see that uh, there are other shells also. The first command is uh, dir. Please uh, don't be scared of this. Uh, the, the most scariest thing of the, the terminal is that it's a uh, black. If you're in Windows uh, 10, it will be dark blue. But anyway, uh, the first uh, command is dir, which it, it comes from directory and it reads the directory items. So when you click dir, it shows what directories we have and what kind of files we have. Also the Mm, the last write time, so when the, the files are last, uh, saved, the date and the time, and also the, the, uh, the size. This is the uh, file names 
and the directory names. Anyway, this is, this is all right there, and you see what uh, the content we have in this directory. The next command is cd, and I promise you, we were only, only three commands. cd is change directory. So from with the cd and the name of directory we want to visit, for example, foo, but I don't have foo directory. Anyway, we change directory to foo. If directory is not present, it will show some error that we cannot find the path. Of course, we cannot. But we can go to express generator. Uh, I use backslash, and backslash means the root directory. Because we installed um, express generator in C express generator, I will write cd or change directory and express generator. Okay, and okay, express generator and click enter. Done. We are in the express generator folder. And now just we can repeat our command bin uh, gain symbol euro usd period m15. And it works. I'll stop it again. Um, so let's uh, from the express generator folder. If I write it there, I see the the file structure of uh, the express generator. It comes with three directories: bin, corrections, and data. And also we have some files. Uh, the bin directory. It bin comes from binary, so usually uh, when you have some programs in the bin directory, it installs its files. The actual scripts of Express Generator are in the bin directory. That's why when you write not, we write bin gen. So the gen is in the bin directory. That's why you write it like that. When you change directory, you can go to change directory to bin and dir. So I see the, the file of generator is gen.js and the fetch is fetch.js. I'll return back. I'll return back. When you write cd, there is two hidden uh, directories. One is dot. So dot means the current directory. When I write cd dot, it just will remain in the same place because uh, dot is the current directory. But if you write cd dot dot, we will go to the parent one. So I will go to the express generator. Okay. And from here, this is the content of bin uh, directory. And we have fetch.js and gen.js. So if I want to be fully precise, I have to write not dot, which is the current directory, backslash bin, backslash gen dot gs. Uh, this is the most strict, the most strict way, and but mm, not just our us some shortcuts. So you may not write uh, uh, .js, and also we may not use the uh, the current directory, the path from the current directory. But anyway, from now I use the the full uh, the full part of the command, and uh, actually this is almost all with the the shell commands. So we learn cd and dir. Let's run it now <clears throat> without uh, uh, specifying the symbol of the period because it, it may work because uh, uh, Express Generator comes with one uh, uh, with preset default. Okay, but it doesn't work because it wants uh, URSD M30 and uh, before we downloaded URSD M15. So let's make it happy. Return not uh, dot bin fetch. Uh, now I write all commands by hand. It works, and this is the purpose uh, uh, of uh, this tutorial to show it how it works in the most basic way. But later we will write uh, commands, and we put uh, this what we write in by hand. We will put it in a file, so it will be much easier to run. So let's try and continue. Uh, not been fetched yes, and the default uh, express generator needs erasm 30 so let's write symbol symbol euro usd period m30 
Okay, we have this data. And now the, the other good thing is, for example, uh, I tried before not bin gain GS. And because I already have it in the history, just with back, uh, with uh, up arrow, I can go back and with downward arrow, I can go forward to the history. So I can go back to gain JS. And when I run it, it will run uh, with uh, URSD M30 data. I'll stop it again. Mm. And the third and the last command that we learn for um, uh, the terminal is CLS, which means clear screen. It is also very useful. So actually now we know the dir command, which shows the content of directory. You know the cd command, they change the directory. cd is change directory, so you can go to the parent one, or the cd express generator. And one uh, more thing. So if you, if you start writing the path and click tab, uh, the PowerShell will auto-complete it. So actually, I don't need to write the complete path. Let's try it again. CD back, CD exp, tap, and enter. And uh, uh, the last command was a CLS, which creates screen, but you can use the shortcut Control L. Um, actually, this, this is uh, all I wanted to show in this tutorial, but. Uh, uh, if you want, I'll continue a little bit more to show uh, the directory structure from the uh, uh, Windows Explorer. Let's go to disk C, Express Generator. And this is what comes with the default installation. Uh, as it said uh, in bin, uh, are the, is, is the actual scripts of the GainJS and FetchJS. Uh, these are the default settings. So GenJS is the GenJS is the, the application, the, the script you run, and gen.settings.ini is the configuration file for GenJS. In next tutorial, we'll uh, learn more about the, uh, the settings. Corresponding with fetch has a fetch settings. Also, we have collections folder where uh, Express Generator saves the collections by default. And these are the collections we generated now. We can use these uh, collections in uh, ES Studio. And also, if you want uh, to validate uh, other collections, we can put collections here and to import it in uh, Express Generator for validation. And in data folder are the historical data. Uh, we use premium data now because uh, when you use the fetch command, it uh, fetches the premium data that, are, uh, that we have in the ES Studio and Express Gen and, and uh, um, for Strategy Builder. So they're in premium uh, folder, but uh, we can also use data from our brokers uh, uh, to, to have a precise match of the backtest in Express Generator, ES Studio, and the broker. And let I show you how we can import data from the broker. We can make uh, our folder for the, our broker's data here and to import data from the broker. Anyway, we today downloaded data for USD M15 and USD M30. And these are absolutely the same files that we uh, export from uh, uh, our brokers from MetaTrader with the data export script. So this is for that video. If you like it, please uh, put a thumb up to the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.